So how do you put text on a surface but keep it in perspective? So here's the problem. If you put a title on something like this, the title is vertical, whereas the court here disappears. It's got perspective, the lines go away. If we zoom in, you can see the top of the L here is much closer to that line than the bottom of the L. So it stands out, it doesn't look right, it looks artificial. What we're gonna do now is lie that down on the court and make it look like it's actually part of the court itself. So let's get rid of that, because we don't need that, that's rubbish. Let's go into Fusion. So we're in Fusion. This is where the magic's gonna happen. The first thing we need to do is track the court, because uh, the court does move a little bit, and we also need some information from that tracker to help give us our perspective. So for that, we're gonna use a planar tracker. If you don't know how to use that, I've got a video right here showing you how. If you don't wanna watch that, or you don't care, or you're so enthralled by this, when you wanna stick with it, you're more than welcome to stay, follow along. So let's bring, bring up our planar tracker, drop that in. What we don't want is a part of the court where someone crosses it. We need it to be fairly consistent that there's no one really going across it. So I happen to know that no one really goes across these lines here. So these are the ones we're going to track. We'll change that to hybrid point area. I find you get better results on this kind of tracking with that. And as usual, we'll change it to translation and rotation the scale. We'll hit set, mark our keyframe, and away we go. So that's our track to the end. We'll hit go to come back to our reference frame and we'll track back to the beginning of the track. So that's finished. We've got all our nice little white tracking points here. On this one, we don't need a planar transform. What we do is we change operation mode here from track to corner pin. And you'll notice this box appears on your screen here. This is the box that will contain the text uh, or the image or whatever you want to use that will stick to the court here. So with this controls our perspective. So we'll pop it on the court and we'll make it match up with the lines here just, just quickly, just roughly to start with, but roughly in place, it's kind of close enough. And then we'll zoom in and we'll just make sure it's in the right place. So right in the middle of the line and on the net, right in the middle of that line, come across here, middle of that line and go up to the top middle of the line and touching the net so that is now a nice little box but we've still got no words so let's take a text node take the text node connect it to the planar tracker and type in whatever it is you want to put make it bigger and you can see that is now perfectly aligned with the lines of the court it's lying down and it's following the perspective of the court. What it's doing is following the perspective of the box. So if you want to change that, we can move that box around and it completely changes that. Okay, so if we want to, if we come out here, we can increase this size. And put it wherever we like. Okay, and it will follow the confines of that box. This is really, really useful if you want to stick uh, a logo or you know any kind of wording as we're doing here onto the side of a building or onto the floor of a building or any such thing like that. So that's tracked. If we hit play, there it is. Stuck on the court, not moving. Perfect perspective. Now, you will have noticed a slight issue. That is screamingly bright white and it does stand out. You have choices at this point as to how to, how to fix this. Choice one, nice and easy one, is to go to your text pick up your little eyedropper here and match the colour of that line. It makes it look a lot more natural, okay? But it's still a little solid. And what you'll find, as you know, if you go to a tennis court, these lines are a little bit rough, they're a little bit broken up. So what I like to do now is take this uh, node here, which is fast noise, bring that down and drop that into the text in the fast noise, we're just going to move, mess with the contrast and the brightness and the detail level. And what it's creating is that kind of mottled effect. The word, move the scale up there. Yeah, that's starting to bring that in now. So what we have now is it looks a lot more like a line would look like. 
on the Altanis tennis court. It looks a lot more broken and battered and damaged. It looks, it's more like it's painted on. So that's made it a bit more realistic. You can go beyond this if you want, and you can actually mask out the lines and the people, and then it will appear underneath them. But that's for another lesson. So that's how you stick a word to a surface with perspective. Hope that's been helpful. Uh, next time round, we're going to stick with trackers, we're going to stick with titles, and we're going to put words behind an object in your clip. Look forward to seeing you again.